Hey guys, Mark here, and today we're gonna to be going over my budget mini PC build and doing a little bit of a revitalization on it. So I actually rebuilt the mini PC live on my channel. If you guys wanna catch those live streams, because once those live streams go live and then they come down, they don't stay on my channel. They're actually just put on listed and you won't be able to find them unless you've already seen the live stream before. So that's a really good reason to catch those live streams when they go up because I will not be putting them up on my channel after they've finished airing. So hit that subscribe button to be notified when those live streams go live because you won't catch them any other way and I'd love to connect with you guys. All right, so let me just do a little bit of an explanation of what I swapped out in this PC build and why I did it. So the original um, PC build, and if you haven't seen it already, you probably should go watch it. The link will be up here or something. Anyway, so originally it had a um, Intel G4560, that didn't change. Uh, it had a GTX 980, it had eight gigs of RAM uh, and a, a cheap little 120 gigabyte SSD. Oh, and it had a non-modular power supply, which is important because that's one of the biggest things that I really wanted to change about this new build. So when I rebuilt this mini PC live, I changed the power supply to a Corsair CX 550M. That's the first big change. And the reason I wanted that was because of course, if you guys have ever built a mini ITX build, you know that you want a modular power supply or at least a semi-modular power supply because when you get these really small cases and you try and build with all those spaghetti of cables that you really don't need in most cases, it gets really messy. So updating that power supply was nice, gets lots of room back in there and it just shows up as much less of a mess. So that was the first major upgrade. The second upgrade I made was the graphics card. Now originally the GTX 980 Founders Edition was in there and that's a great card. It's a very powerful card, but it also draws a lot of power, takes up a lot of space, and it's really unnecessary for the type of build I was going for here initially. To remedy that, what I did was I swapped it out for the GTX 1050 Ti. Now I know the 1050 Ti is not nearly as powerful as the GTX 980. However, for this type of build, it was a budget gaming build that we're trying to go for here and it's much more efficient. It's a tiny little card. It actually just uses power directly from the motherboard, which is fantastic. It's a very efficient, small little card, and it is an absolute beast for 1080p gaming. Uh, in a lot of cases, you could crank it up to ultra in some of these games and still pull 60 frames per second, which is fantastic, and it's a great budget little card. After that, what I did was I actually removed the eight gigabytes of RAM that was in there. We just had some HyperX Fury uh, DDR4 RAM in there before. Um, and I swapped it for 16 gigabytes. Now I know that's not necessary and you'd actually bottleneck out the CPU and the graphics card long before you'd ever need the RAM in games. However, I just had the RAM lying around, so why not, you know? Finally, the last upgrade, or I guess it's kind of a downgrade, but anyway, I removed the hard drive that was in the uh, mini PC originally. And um, that was because it was a really slow 5400 RPM um, Toshiba hard drive out of a laptop. Uh, that I got a long time ago and I did, really didn't need the space and uh, it was slow and starting to crap out on me anyway. So I just removed that. We'll probably replace it with a, a 500 gigabyte SSD for game storage later, but for now, hard drive's gone. So just a little recap, the CPU is an Intel G4560. It's a dual core processor. The GPU is a 1050 Ti. We've got a 120 gigabyte SSD, PNY I believe it is. Uh, we've got 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 2133 a Corsair CX550M semi-modular power supply, and then enveloping the whole thing is our beautiful Silverstone SG13B. So with that, let's take a look at some benchmarks.
So as you can see, this little mini PC with really cheap parts inside is doing a fantastic job in 1080p games. I was especially impressed at that Forza Horizon 4 demo that just came out. Um, that little 1080 Ti crushed it on that game, uh, getting anywhere between 45 and 60 FPS on the high preset, which was really impressive, and it usually was up around the 55 and 60 range on average. So anyway, as you can see, it is a very capable little machine, and it's cheap too. It's a great little build, so if you're interested in any of these parts, I'll leave the links down in the description down below. You can check them out. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Hit that like button and subscribe to support my channel. And as always, have a great day.